hello guys well now we're gonna solve this problem uh you can take some time to read the problem uh we're gonna get some information from here we have the radius of um 0 0.252 meters um the object has a mass of 4.15 kilograms and it travels a distance of um 2.75 meters in 2.04 seconds so first things first um this is a a conservation of energy problem so at the beginning we have the potential energy and then we have the rotational kin kinetic energy and this is the formula and there are two things that we don't have but we can find and first is the inertia and also the um angular velocity so first um the the velocity can be found as the angular velocity times the radius so that's where this comes from and the inert this is the formula for inertia in this case because we have a disk a uniform disk and that's the formula of the disk um so we can substitute these two into this equation and then we get this um for some reason i decided to bring the um the potential energy on this side just because i'm i'm used to um writing with less things on this side so that's why i decided to do so and then we can do some algebra to simplify this and we get this formula but then we have to isolate for the uh the velocity um so we get this equation and there are some things that we still need to find so we bring this equation and we plug it into these kinematics and we don't have an initial velocity so that goes to zero and then based on this we solve for zero to find the acceleration um so we get this other formula and then now um we have the distance travel by the suspended object during that time um which we have the time and then so we plug in the acceleration, which is what we found right here. And we have the time. Like I said before, we don't have an initial velocity, so that goes to zero. Uh, we do some algebra. And we have to solve for M because we're looking for the mass of the disk and i hope you can follow this algebra that i did and then we start after we solve for the mass we can finally start plugging in numbers so we have the mass of the um, mass of the object times uh, gravity times the time squared divided by the distance minus two, two m, which is the mass of the object one more, one more time. So we plug in those numbers and then we can finally find the, um, the mass of the, of the disc, which is, oh, oops. which is this, 
53.2 kilograms.